Nobody ever checks, nobody ever vacuum checks two strokes. This is the reason that you do it. Everything in here is new. It's a brand new cylinder, brand new gaskets, brand new rebuild, and I have a decent idea of what I'm doing. I decided to check this to make sure that it held vacuum before I got to running because you're leaving a lot of performance on the table if it doesn't hold vacuum. It doesn't have the intake cycle that it needs. It'll be sucking air, it'll run lean, it'll run awkward. It won't hold vacuum. So what I have to do now is put a little pressure to it. So I'm gonna put a little pressure to it here with a gauge on it so I know kind of where I'm at and I'm gonna see where my leaks are. And it bleeds off, it bleeds off. I have a nice one right back here at the base gasket. Maybe you can see it bubbling up. Right back there. So, and now we're gonna take it apart and seal that. Wow, it would run, but you're leaving performance on the table. Okay, you can see it pumping up. Before it would even hold major pressure, let alone minor pressure. Like vacuum, or even think about pumping up. We're gonna go for seven PSI. Yep, it's not moving. That's a good sign. Now, let's talk about this for a second. Everything in this thing now is pressurized. In fact, this particular bolt right here on this power valve motor, <coughs> this whole cover is pressurized. The cover on the other side, pressurized. Front manifold, pressurized. Spark plug, gasket, pressurized. This thing right here, pressurized. In fact, the 250s, for some reason, they have a major issue with sucking air right here. This whole deal where the crankcase pressure sensor goes into this tube, Watch it, you might wanna put sealant on that deal and cover your butt. This thing here, if you take this bolt out, all the pressure comes out, which means put sealant on these threads, put sealant on these gaskets, put sealant on the gasket on the oversized exhaust valve cover you'd get from us. You know, after this gasket fiasco, I don't trust crap about any of this stuff. It's your performance on the table. Also keep in mind, that a, a little bit of a vacuum thing, it's not that big of a deal when things are wide open because there's not that much vacuum. Things are processing really fast. It's the low throttle openings where you blippity blooper guys, bloop, bloop, bloop. That's the high vacuum. You're the guys that suffer and lose response. So, you know, do it. Do it right. You can probably get one of these goofy vacuum kits off the Amazon. It's a two inch plug here with a vacuum hole in it. It's a two inch um, rubberized uh, freeze plug that you get at the automotive store. Expandable freeze plug. You get a two inch one. You do have to sand down the rubber just a little bit for it to fit into the exhaust port. Tighten that baby down. The thing's sealed up and hopefully you are making some more snap. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great night.